Douglas Skelton, welcome to Crime Files. No, thanks for having me, it's great. I first got to know you as a consequence of somebody writing true crime books, Blood on the Thistle, uh, The Ice Cream Wars. So why the move from true crime into fiction? I think I'd done everything that I wanted to do. I'd always wanted to write fiction. I, and after Frightener, there are some police officers in Glasgow who said that I'd been writing fiction all along. <laughs> And I wrote one uh, novel, Blood City, which was the, the introduction to Davy McCall and my, the first novel I had published. And Davy McCall is a man who's prepared to do bad things, is he not? Yes. How do you go about researching somebody who is prepared to use violence? Well, I've met them. Um, during the, the Ice Cream Wars research, uh, I, I met a lot of people like that. And I met people who like to think uh, that they would be like Davy McCall. Was there an attraction to meeting them? Were you scared when you met them? I wasn't scared, which was funny. I've only ever been scared once when I was in a small room interviewing uh, a man who I knew had killed more than once. This was in a room in Berlin. And uh, there was something about him that was just evil. And that's the only word I could, he didn't threaten me, but there was just an atmosphere that he carried with him that, that just had to be evil. The other character in the book who chimes with the theme of this episode is Jimmy Knight, who by the end of the series, I think he's a detective inspector, but he frankly is a psychopath, is he not? Yes. How did you go about getting a sense of psychopathy in that character? I took away anything that was human, basically, and anything that, that was remorseful. He has no remorse for what he does. He is totally self-centered, Jimmy Knight. He does, everything that he does is for himself. He might feign empathy, but he has none. And it was, it was very freeing as a writer to, to write a character like that. Um, I, 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 I don't know whether I should admit this, but I loved writing Jimmy Knight. Why? Because I didn't need to worry about motivation. And that was kind of freeing as a writer because anything that I wanted Jimmy Knight to do that was, and he, he does the most reprehensible things. What sort of things does he do? Oh, he terrorizes women. He, he kills eventually. He steals, he is corrupt. He does everything and yet he covers it all over with this sense of duty and uh, respectability if you like, he is a police officer. Therefore, he feels that he is above a, a, a lot of things. Uh, some of the things that he says in the books actually came from police officers that I interviewed. A police officer once said to me, we are the guardians of the truth. And I built that up into a full speech from Jimmy Knight about being guardians of the truth. And they are the protectors of the flame and the, the, the beasts are out there just snarling around the, in the darkness. He doesn't really believe it himself. He's just saying that because that's what's expected, because he's one of the beasts himself. I wonder to what extent, though, Davy McCall was more of you. Uh, <laughs> I think, here's another controversial statement, I think practically any character that an author creates has a wee bit of the author in them, so that means there might be a wee bit of me in Jimmy Knight as well, which is a scary thought. Was there any envy about any of the qualities of Jimmy Knight? Yes, his methods were highly suspect and certainly illegal, um, but the single-minded determination that he was going to walk that path and nothing was going to stop him and he would do anything to keep on track. And I, I, you know, I, I, I tend to veer off, I tend to be put off. I find that interesting because we all as a culture seem to be attracted to the psychopath, don't we? Mm. I mean, the, the, there is, there's even a book now called The Wisdom of Psychopaths. Why do you think culturally we seem to want to 
endorse that kind of Jimmy Knight-esque single-mindedness. I'm not sure we want to endorse it. I think, you know, part of being a psychopath uh, can be that they are highly charming, and you, you, you know that. Do you think sometimes Tartan Noir should come with a health warning <laughs> that these psychopaths are not people to emulate, the, the, there aren't that many um, serial killers in our culture? I think, obviously, there is that danger, but I also think that readers are smarter than that. I think they know that this is fiction, but there is a fascination. Douglas Skelton, thank you very much for joining me on Crime Files. Thanks for having me. Thank you.